Welcome to Coin 6 News at noon. I'm Jenny Hansen. The man who exposed Portland City workers for taking long lunches when they should have been working tells Coin 6 News why he blew the whistle. Only on 6, that man says for years, city workers have been taking long breaks at the Guilds Lake Inn in northwest Portland. We told you about this investigation into his claims last night at 11. Well, Brent Weisberg is digging into this story more today, and Brent, the city now taking action. Jenny, good afternoon. The city confirms several employees have been disciplined, but they have not said how many. Meanwhile, the owner of this restaurant says turning these workers in was the hardest thing he's had to do. It's been going on for a few years. As the owner of the small diner in the city's northwest industrial area, Brian McAdams says he watched for almost six years as a group of repeat customers sat down for breakfast. Well, they would uh, sit in a specific area, you know, two or three times a week and just, you know, come in and order like everybody else. The group, Brian says, would talk casually. They never caused any problems, but they did things differently. Years ago, when they first started coming here, I always noticed how they would park out back or they'd park on the side, but they would never park in front. It was because Brian believes those men were trying to hide the fact that they work for the city as inspectors for the Bureau of Development Services. Brian says it didn't take long to realize the city workers were up to something. Brian finally acted in November and asked for an investigation after writing down the vehicle numbers. It wasn't easy. I just, I called, I inquired. Here's the car numbers. Are, were they supposed to be here now? And the polite response was, thank you very much, sir. No, they're not. They're supposed to be at work. After a four-month probe, the city confirms it has disciplined several people, though it won't say how. As for Brian, he's worried about the impact to his business, but knows in his heart it was the right thing to do. I'll be honest, I regret not, not saying something sooner. There's no excuse for it. I should have said something five years ago, and I told the city that, and I actually felt bad that I didn't say something sooner. So in some ways, I'm just as guilty as them by enabling them all these years and not doing the responsible thing and deciding to turn my head just like that and to let it go on. Well, in light of this investigation, the city says it will be installing GPS tracking units in some of its fleet vehicles. Reporting live, I'm Brent Weisberg, Coin 6 News. Very interesting, Brent, and we will continue to follow up on this investigation. Stay with Coin 6 News for the latest.